Airtel conducted India's first 5G network trial in February this year. But it might be too early to celebrate just yet. But why? Let's understand how 5G is different from 4G in the first place and what are the challenges for implementation in India. The primary difference between the two networks is that 4G currently transmits hundreds of MB per second and 5G is expected to transmit 1 GB per second. The second difference is that 5G is expected to have lower data latency, which is the delay between sending and receiving signals. This data latency will drop to almost 1 millisecond with 5G, which is now around 45 milliseconds with 4G. Currently, one can only imagine the great possibilities a high-speed internet of this kind can usher. One of the few examples of what 5G could enable is that fully automatic self-driving cars could communicate with each other, which is also an example of machine-to-machine -machine communication, which has the potential to grow tremendously under 5G. Essentially, higher data rate and lower latency is what it needs. To achieve this and more machine-to-machine -machine communication, one will require huge technical changes and new regulatory frameworks. This would need more circuit towers, but shorter ones than we currently use, because shorter circuit towers can be placed more closely and data latency can be minimized. Currently, a 4G base station is placed every 1 to 5 kilometers, but with 5G, it will have to be placed every 250 meters. Setting up 5G would also require redesigning of antennas so that there is less interference between the various signals that will be transmitted at the same time. These are structural changes that India is not ready for. Indian Telecom is in debt. The cumulative debt of the telecom sector in 2017 was almost 5 lakh crore rupees with revenues of less than 1.8 lakh crore rupees. In 2008, around 8 to 10 players entered the telecom market together and too much competition became unsustainable in the long run as we see it now. At the time, telecom players were not only looking at short-term value gains but they also overestimated the Indian market for 3G. After a decade, telecom and IoT players are still overestimating the 5G market by in part relying heavily on smartphone penetration in India. Anand Krishnan, who is the CTO of Tata Consulting Services, said that without much constraints, India has the maximum potential to grow with the 5G network because of a huge smartphone using population. Which is true indeed, because 39% of all mobile users in India will be expected to own a smartphone by next year. But arguably, 4G till now has only remained a tier 1 phenomena in India. So how much 5G is going to help the 39% smartphone users across the country seems to be a pertinent question. Over the years and even now, the big ticket spectrum auctions have aggravated the crisis. Telcos are compelled to bid high for spectrums. And this among falling tariffs and a user revenue of $2 per user, which is the lowest in the world. In 2016, Reliance Geo's offer of free voice calls was the final jolt to the sector because 80% of the sector's revenue comes from voice calls. This left the Indian telecom sector with no choice but of consolidation of other players. The Indian telecom sector seems to be on the crossroads with an all-new task of building and designing 5G networks from the ground up.